direct aim at a couple of them. Make no mistake, these are exhilarating days for the right wing of the Republican Party. Last week, right to work. This week, right to life. And not just any right to life legislation, but what some are describing as the most extreme and far-reaching anti-choice laws in the entire United States. Imagine that, right here in Michigan, a state that is emphatically proving itself now to be blue in presidential politics only. And that may have less to do with politics, really, than the fact that people here just didn't like Mitt Romney all that much, but that's an entirely different discussion. Yesterday, two bills limiting abortion options in this state moved closer to Governor Rick Snyder's desk. One would require some abortion providers to become licensed as freestanding outpatient surgical facilities. Nothing offensive about that, except for the money some clinics will be forced to spend on, for example, new and wider doors and larger rooms, costs that have some clinics saying they would be unaffordable and would have to force them to close their doors. The law would establish screening requirements to make sure women aren't being forced to have abortions. Information on how often such a thing has happened in the recent past is scant. And the law would also establish provisions for disposing of fetal remains, like for funerals, for example, at whose expense is not entirely clear. Supporters of the bill say they will protect the health and safety of women who choose to get abortions. Senator Rick Jones of Grand Ledge said the new laws won't stop abortions, but quoting now, but will make them a heck of a lot safer. Safer? Safer than what? Where's the evidence abortion clinics are unsafe as they stand? And for the record, 21 of Michigan's 83 counties lack even a single OBGYN. So the new restrictions will make access to health care for a lot of women even more difficult than it is now. There's also a conscience objection clause that would give health centers the right to deny services if they so choose unless the woman seeking the abortion is literally dying. What's going on here is pretty clear. Republicans know they cannot overturn Roe v. Wade, the law of the land, since 1973. So they're going through the back door to make getting abortions in Michigan, in Michigan as difficult as is possible, disingenuous at best. Earlier this year, Governor Snyder vetoed a Republican-sponsored effort to crack down on voter fraud in our state. To the governor's credit, he said no to that because he wasn't convinced voter fraud was really a problem. Now, it's not as though abortions around here are being formed willy-nilly. Right now in Michigan, a minor cannot get an abortion without parental consent. A woman has got to get state-directed counseling, often discouraging her from having an abortion 24 hours before the surgery would take place. And tax money is used only in cases of rape, incest, or where the mother's life is in danger. And now this divisive anti-choice legislation could be on the governor's desk in a matter of days. It deserves from him at least as much circumspection as he gave to the voter fraud matter. And the result ought to be the same. The answer is no. In this corner, I'm Tom Van Howe. Share your comments, opinions, and suggestions with Tom's Corner at WWMT.com or mail us at Tom's Corner at 590 West Maple Street, Kalamazoo, Michigan, 490.